The race for Edo State gubernatorial election is heating up as political candidates leave no stone unturned and their bid for support. Yesterday, the APC's deputy gubernatorial candidate, Dennis Idahosa, made a strategic move by engaging with Edo indigents abroad. Let's examine the development with Captain UK correspondent. <laughs> The All Progressive Congress APC Edo State Chapter has expanded its campaign efforts by reaching out to Edo State indigents worldwide. Deputy Gubernatorial Candidate Denise Idahosa recently visited the Edo Diaspora Organization in London to formally declare his candidacy for the upcoming elections in Edo State Nigeria. In preparation for the September elections, Dennis Idahosa, a former honorable member of the Federal House of Representatives representing Ovia Southwest, Ovia Northeast constituency engaged with the Edo Diaspora Organization in London. With previous roles as Chairman of the House Committee on Legislative Compliance and Commissioner for the Edo State Ministry of Investment and Public Private Partnerships from 2014 to 2015, it also reiterated his dedication to serving the people of Edo State and providing quality leadership. When you have to invest back home, there's going to be an intermediary between the state government and the investors, which is our people here. For instance, you want to buy a property in Nigeria. Most of us have been scammed by our family members. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Instead of going through that route, you can partner with the state government to provide basic amenities in certain areas. Then the Edo Diaspora Commission will be able to allocate properties for different people that is willing to invest back home. Addressing concerns about property demolition by the current state leadership, Idahosa assured the community of his commitment to addressing such issues if elected. We also inherit the assets and the liability. We are going to review that because there's one community they call the Koroma. I think what they did today is not fair. It's not fair. I will review it and see if compensation will be put to them at the appropriate time. Joe Ehigia Musoe, the convener of the Edo Diaspora Indigents, emphasized the importance of their association and their ongoing dialogue with the state government. We in the diaspora will have a huge responsibility to our families over there in that the life we live here, the work we do here, are all for our people at home. A good governance will alleviate us of those burdens. Okay? And that is why we believe that we need to institute the right governance in our state. Uh, our plan is, uh, number one, to put people first and for the uh, progressive interest of the people of the uh, state. Uh, do, uh, do people's plans are plan. You know, and I believe that uh, we as uh, the APC, we are prepared, we are set, and we are uh, ready to launch our manifesto, which is the people and people first. Other participants, including Osas Agbonifo, Vivian Elabo, and Efe Omorugewa from the Edo Desborough Association, echoed the sentiment of engagement and collaboration in furthering the interest of Edo State. It was an insight about uh, the, the working plans and pattern that uh, Honorable Idaosa, uh, known as Denko, is uh, planning to bring into the, uh, the government. If they, if they come out, uh, if they emerge as uh, governor and deputy governor, as the case may be. I think the event was fantastic. I think it gave um, the Edo lights in London, in the United Kingdom, an opportunity to um, interact with the aspirant of the APC, um, Deputy Governorship Candidate. Uh, speaking to him, trying to scrutinize him, and asking questions, he was able to you know, answer adequately and 
that gives me so much confidence that the young people can come around and even do better. I hope that politicians with their rhetoric is not uh, in this situation. We pray and hope that the best candidate become governor and deputy governor. So my people, we are here to solicit for your support. Victoria Oketa, Captain TV, United Kingdom.